estrogen is a growth hormone and that it makes growth of bone, growth of breast tissue, growth of uterine tissue to support a baby and growth of a baby, growth of brain neurosteroid, growth of muscle. It stimulates growth. So if there is a cancer hiding that you can't see and it has estrogen receptors on it, estrogen will stimulate its growth. That's All right. I'm Dr. Amy Killen, and many of you sent me this video and were concerned about estrogen being called a growth hormone. And I gotta say, this doctor is absolutely correct. So I talk about estrogen as being little miss extra. She's additive and anabolic. So that's why we love estrogen. It tells your brain to grow, it tells your bones to grow, to stay strong. It tells your muscles to grow. So all of that is correct. And it is true that if you have an estrogen receptor positive breast cancer, then estrogen can stimulate the growth of that cancer. This is why women who have ER positive breast cancer are oftentimes put on medications to reduce their estrogen levels. And none of this means that estrogen therapy increases your risk of getting breast cancer or that estrogen causes breast cancer. And we know that women who are diagnosed with breast cancer while on estrogen therapy do not have a worse outcome than women who are not on estrogen therapy. But it absolutely is true that estrogen acts like a growth hormone. Progesterone, on the other hand, tends to act the opposite, at least in some tissues. Progesterone is generally thought to be very protective of breast tissue. It actually modifies the way estrogen binds to its receptor in the breast to make the estrogen act less proliferative and more differentiated, which means less growing, 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 and more going the right direction. Hormones are complex, so it is important to work with a physician who knows what they're doing and is not just slapping some hormones on a piece of paper and sending you on your way.